Hi, I'm Steve Green. When you tell a friend or family member you're going backpacking, one of the first things they tell you is, ooh, take a lot of first aid equipment. But as an ultralight hiker, you can get a lot in just a couple of ounces. One of the lightest first aid kits available is this little yellow one called the Pack one that weighs only 1.1 ounces and includes 23 items. This is a good start. It even includes a first aid guide that has a surprising amount of information. There's a needle, 10 small bandages, three larger bandages, a knuckle bandage, two adhesive strips, a gauze pad, an alcohol pad, an antiseptic pad, a small piece of moleskin, and a moist travel towel. The plastic it comes in weighs 0.4 ounces, so you want to throw that away right away and put everything in a Ziploc bag, which weighs almost nothing. I like to add a few things to personalize my first aid kit. I usually put in a few extra sterile gauze pads in the 2 by 3 inch size for larger wounds. I include butterfly bandages in a couple of sizes. I add a few cotton swabs, and remember that the hollow style is lighter than the stick kind. A partial roll of small surgical tape is light and can bandage large wounds. Extra mole skin or similar product is good, especially if you form blisters easily. Wide athletic tape can be applied before you start hiking to keep blisters from forming. If you switch from the needle in most first aid kits to a few small safety pins, you'll have some additional repair items without adding any weight. Since the points of safety pins are tucked away, you avoid the possibility of the needle poking a hole in your equipment. Triple antibiotic ointment packets are good to add. They can help heal a wound and they can greatly reduce the discomfort of jock itch. It's difficult to say what an ultralight first aid kit should weigh because some of your first aid items are also normal pieces of gear. Some of these items include aspirin, ibuprofen, antacids, anti-diarrhea tablets, sunscreen, lip protection, biodegradable soap, knife, toothpaste, which is a mild antiseptic, matches, Benadryl or Benadryl tablets, water purification gear, and insect repellent. Your extra cord, tooth floss, and duct tape can be used as first aid items or used for repairs. Your cleanest clothing or large Ziploc can be used to stop bleeding. Even your hat can be thought of as a piece of first aid gear that keeps you from getting sunburned. Your signal mirror and emergency whistle are items that can help you avoid the need for your first aid kit. Your paper and pen can be used to leave emergency notes on your physical condition and changed plans such as a new exit route. You can improvise a lot of first aid equipment. To make a cold pack, use water and a bandana or towel. If you need heat, you have your cooking gear. Remember that some of your best first aid equipment, planning and knowledge are weightless. Avoid emergencies by staying warm, dry and hydrated. Remember to be alert when you're handling your stove and hot water. Keep your hands clean after using the restroom. This is especially important because a lot of people blame water problems on what are really hygiene problems. Carry a first aid kit that fits your style, your conditions, and your skill level. Remember, you can get a lot in just a small first aid kit. See over 30 more videos and a free ultralight backpacking book at hikelight.com.